Good morning, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Hope everyone has a blessed and peaceful and enjoyable um, holiday. Japan is shaken again today. This is how it all started out before they um, started to have the, having the long period earthquakes I mean, up over here in this region, which would be Isakawa. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, let me go back to this map here. Let me go to Google Earth. Today's event started with a magnitude 4.7. Uh, the most recent was a magnitude 4.9 and the largest was a magnitude 5.8. And I talked about this before. And it goes into those uh, long period earthquakes that they're having there in Ishikawa. What we got is the subduction of the Pacific Plate. Uh, yeah, drawing down the, the material. And uh, Japan talks about the water that's coming back up and creating earthquakes up over here. Yeah, the USGS map didn't have the earthquakes. I, I have a mark. I believe the largest was a magnitude 6.5. No one has reported um, feeling any of these earthquakes on EMSE, and EMSE has a pretty good discrepancy between what USGS reports these earthquakes and what they have according to uh, the Japanese Meteorological Society there is no uh, current tsunami warning or advisory they have a map showing the latest earthquake which was a magnitude 4.8 they also still have the long period ground motion information posted on their website this is uh, that area right there this is um, I don't know if it's the most recent but they got a magnitude 5.8 listed and that was on May 5th that was a class 2 and then for the class 1 I don't know what will no nothing happens when I click on the class 1 for volcano warnings and forecasts and eruption notices let me bring this over and I don't know if I can remove this let me see let's see um, they do not have any evacuations currently going on but they do have several areas for restrictions on the proximity of the volcano caution advice in non-residential area near the crater I don't know if I can take that out let me I guess I'm just gonna have to zoom in on it let's see we got Saka Rajema and what else let's move this around that looks like the only one for the other you know other but if you want to go to one of these little islands here so it see it says here for Sakurajima sorry for pronouncing it wrong um it's level three downgraded from level five it says for the volcanic ash um, for level four it would have been um, having disabled people evacuated so level three restriction on proximity of the volcano refrain from entering the danger zone target areas determined in the line with the current volcano activity I'll give you a link to this and that's been on alert since last year July 27th you can see here we got the Philippine plate slowly moving towards uh, the northwest um, yeah it's probably gonna transfer all this energy that's subducting underneath um, the island of Japan and we're gonna probably have more earthquakes up over here where they're having um, the notification of the long uh, moving tremors on Twitter professor Sadake is saying that there is a high possibility that an earthquake of strong shaking will occur for about a week please get ready and um, they have a video here that's added showing um, I'm not sure what the date is for this damage but yeah look at all the terracotta um, tiles and the glass that fell 
Um, and I, I assume maybe that is who is being interviewed here in this uh, video. Yeah, this is probably, I'm not sure. Let me click on the link and see what it says. It starts out the video um, showing the different plates as they move. And it talks about the subduction, as I said. And then it's showing, it's actually showing the water that's coming up. I don't read Japanese, but I would assume, yeah, that's creating those um, long moving tremors over there on the other side of the island. And then it goes into uh, the different videos. All right, this was translated here on NHK. It says, uh, watch out for earthquakes with a maximum seismicity of about five over the next week. It says because of the uh, two plates, the Pacific plate from the east and the Philippine sea plate from the south are subducting underneath the land. And yeah, so and also you know about the rains and the landslide um, danger. It says also in addition to the magnitude 7.9 uh, that occurred causing the great Cantu earthquake 100 years ago. Magnitude 7 class earthquakes have occurred repeatedly in the underground of Cantu region where the plates are intricately intertwined. Professor Sadake believes that there is a 70% chance of a large earthquake, a magnitude 7 class within the next 30 years. All that information, I believe, was from the 11th of this month, and today is the 14th. So now this has been translated. They also have an urgent warning as the risk graph shows an earthquake of a magnitude 6 to a 6.5 could occur near Tokyo, Japan between May 15th and the 17th and advising people to um, yeah, take necessary precautions. And one of the replies predicting that it won't hit every time. It's just a warning. Um, claiming that it's a terrible hoax. Yeah, a lot of people claim to know, um, have signs from heaven or whatever, uh, earthquakes coming. Um, you just don't know. Just don't know. But anyways, people should be prepared for disasters. We are on the top of the earth trying to look down inside what is happening with the limited equipment that we have? Yeah, the ring of fire is definitely very active and poor Japan has been really hit lately. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, I wish everyone a happy and safe Mother's Day. Please stay safe. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.